Hello everyone. So I've recently purchased a D-bit grinder. Um, I've wanted one for a long time, uh, primarily to sharpen drill bits and end mills. Now the instructions that come with these grinders is pretty much useless. So I just wanted to make this video as a quick walkthrough um, for people that um, are not familiar with these grinders or would like to learn more about them. So without further ado, well, let's get stuck into it. At the top here, um, this knob um, allows you to move your um, grinding wheel backwards and forwards. It's probably going to be the most used um, thing um, on this grinder. Um, you will use it when um, sharpening end mills or drill bits. Um, well, I do anyway. Um, the bolt um, here is for you to access a hole in the shaft. Um, basically you just drop a pin in like so and that will lock um, the diamond wheel so you can unscrew it and remove it sometimes you may need to use a torch to look in the hole to um, be able to find the hole for the pin um, sometimes it's easy sometimes it's more difficult um, I've heard that some people um, the hole is not drilled correctly and you have to s put the pin in at an angle. Fortunately um, in this grinder it's quite easy to access and it's straight. Um, in this hole there is a set screw which basically stops you from um, winding out the um, diamond wheel too far and making it contact um, this guard. So. You shouldn't touch that um, it's set at the factory um, this knob here is basically just to lock this movement from side to side um, I've never really locked it never really used it um, this device here is for truing um, a stone um, if you've got a diamond wheel um, you definitely don't need to true it and you shouldn't true it with uh, with this point um, but basically there is a set screw at the end here that you um, need to undo and it allows you to slide the point backwards and forwards and you should just pivot it like so to true up your wheel and then you can take it out put it into a collet and true the other face of your grinding wheel um, but I recommend you use um, diamond wheels with this grinder. Um, the other normal wheels, they just produce too much dust. Yeah, I mean, it'll go everywhere, cover all the things in your shop. Um, not so with a diamond wheel. The most of the dust that you'll generate with a diamond wheel is just coming off your drill bit or your end mill. If we look from this end, you will notice there is um, a hex bolt and a special nut with pin holes um, and you will have received a special tool to undo that nut now undoing the nut will allow you to remove the diamond wheel and undoing the hex bolt will also allow you to remove the diamond wheel the difference is um, undoing the hex bolt will allow you to remove the diamond wheel along with the arbor of the shaft um, whereas undoing the nut will allow you to just remove the um, diamond wheel. The problem is um, when you receive the grinder um, and if you have a diamond wheel um, attached to it, um, most likely the diamond wheel is going to be um, out of balance and cause quite a bit of vibration. And you will need to um, loosen this nut with the tool provided and use an indicator on the outside to make the diamond wheel run true. Now, if you keep undoing that nut to change um, diamond wheels, you'll have to really re-indicate and re-true each diamond wheel, which can be a pain. So the recommended way of doing that is to buy additional um, arbors for diamond grinding wheels and make a special tool that goes into this hex hole and basically pulls the diamond wheel off um, with the arbor so in the next video um, i'll show building that um, tool to pull the diamond wheels off 
So this knob um, basically moves this shaft um, backwards and forwards. So when you have this um, locked in on the shaft, um, you can move it backwards and forwards with this knob. This knob sets the stop for, for this. So if you've got um, your tool in, um, you can basically, if you screw this knob in, you, it'll move the tool out. Um, and basically, when you pull this, and it goes back, it'll hit the stop. So when this is tied down and um, secure on the shaft, um, the shaft basically rotates um, backwards and forwards. And this basically allows you to regulate um, the stop. Um, there is a spring internally, so when you pull this back, um, the weight of this is counterbalanced by the spring inside. Um, it's not the best setup with the spring. Um, it's at an angle, and I've seen people modifying these grinders to put the spring in the middle. Um, I haven't had the need to do so just yet. So now onto the main part of the grinder, this bit. Now turning this knob here, this wheel um, allows you to loosen or tighten um, the five C collets that go over here. So when you loosen it, you just push it, loosen it a bit more, push it, and you can eventually pull the 5C collet out. The dial here um, allows you to loosen the um, dial up here. So if you loosen it, you can freely turn the dial and set the starting degrees, and then tighten it back, and you're set. Now with this pin up here, you've got three positions. Um, when it's in this position, you can freely rotate um, your end mill or drill bit in the 5C collet. Um, when it's in this position, you can only turn it 180 degrees, backwards and forwards, it will stop. Um, when it's in this position, um, it will um, be locked into a certain position and then you can pull it back, start turning it, release it and when you start learn it will lock again and basically it gives you 15 degree um, set increments so you can loosen it turn it a bit more it locks again loosen it start turning it a little bit and that's um, how it works and basically allows you to um, turn it at 15 degree um, increments as for the rest of this, um, I assume it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, undoing these levers allows you to um, move the tool in various axes and allows you to set up your end mill or drill bit um, to the right angle. Now the only thing I can recommend is you find a straight rod that fits into your 5C collet and put it flat against um, your wheel and then check that um, this dial here is at zero and if it's not um, simply loosen this screw here and set your dial to zero um, I found that um, on my DB grinder it was out by a few degrees so hope you found this video um, helpful um, in my, I'll be making another video on the tool to extract um, the arbor off the shaft and um, how to grind drill bits on this DB grinder. So stay tuned for those. Anyway, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.